Good morning, Sun Valley Elementary School students. Mr. Little here. It's Wednesday, April 8th, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to learn the Spanish alphabet. Now, regardless of whether you speak Spanish or not, this will have some value for you. When you get to middle school, you're going to have to learn a second language. And in this country, the best second language to learn is Spanish. When you start learning Spanish, the first thing you're going to learn is the alphabet. And I have a song that makes learning the alphabet very easy. Before we can learn the Spanish alphabet, we have to look at the vowels because the vowels can be very, very tricky. If we take a look at how the vowels are written, they are written the same both in English and in Spanish. So in English, we say A, E, I, O, U. In Spanish, we say A, E, E, O, U. So repeat after me. A, E. E, O, U. The reason this is tricky is because in English, the letter A, what we call the A, sounds very similar to the Spanish letter E, which is pronounced A. So we have A and A. It makes it very tricky when you're trying to read. And even trickier still is the letter E in English is very similar to how you pronounce the I in Spanish, which is E. So E in English and E in Spanish. So we're gonna practice the saying the Spanish vowels to make it easier before we learn the alphabet. Repeat after me. A, E, E, O, U. A, E, E, O, U. And a little bit faster. A, E, E, O, U. A, E, E, O, U. A, E, E, O, U. All right, very good. So now we're gonna learn the Spanish alphabet to a song because learning things from a song makes it very easy in your head to remember, just like the English alphabet. A lot of you may not know, but we learn it to a very popular song, a very common song, which is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So if you say the alphabet, A, B, C, D, that's actually Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. In Spanish, we're going to learn it to a little bit different song. So as you can say here, as you can see here, I've written the letters so that you can pronounce them, right? The B E because it's pronounced B. That's the letter B. There are a few letters that are no longer included in the alphabet, but I still include them in my song, and that's the letter C H, which is pronounced Ch. Also, we have the double L, which is pronounced that's A Y, A Y. So it makes the Y sound. So when you see double L. It's, you're going to act like it's a Y, yeah. We also have the in ye, right? So, for instance, the word baño, which means bathroom. If we don't put the tilde over the in, we would pronounce it bano, but it's baño. So you have to know the difference between an in, in a, and an in ye, in with the tilde. We also have the double R, which is pronounced R. So we have R and R, okay? P-E-R-O is perro, that means butt. Perro with a double R means dog, so it's very important to know the difference. This letter right here, Y, is very tricky. Y, remember how? The, if you pronounce it in English, you'd say I, but it's not, it's the E. We pronounce it E, and there's two of them. Y, repeat after me. Y, that's the Y. X is the X. Q is the Q. Is everyone ready? Now, repeat after me. A, B, C, C, D, E, F. H, A, C, I, J, T, K. L, A, E, Y. M, A, N, A, N, Y. O, P. Q R R S T U B T O B B X Y Z Z T Y O C Alpha Beta O L E All right, very good. That last part means I know the alphabet.
Just like in English, at the end we say, now I know my ABC. So let's try it again. Repeat after me. A, B, C, C, D, E, F, A. He, A, C, I, H, T, K. E, L, E. E, Y. E, M, E, N, E, N, Y. Oh, pay. Q R R S T U B W P X Y Z W X Y Z Y Z Alphabet Ole All right, boys and girls. Now, I know this is tricky, but you can always throw the video on back, back on and do it again. So, Mr. Little, signing off for the day. Have a wonderful afternoon.